Hello, it's Reverend Nigel here again in Holy Trinity Church in Cleve, and I'm just putting the finishing touches to this art piece, this installation to help us uh, remember some of the parts of the story of Jesus' journey into Jerusalem uh, all those years ago. Um, his entry into that city when the crowds were really excited and then a few days later um, how he was brought before um, those powerful people that were scared of him, upset with him, angry with him and eventually put him to death. But we know that's not the end of the story because Easter, our celebration of Easter, is all about Jesus rising from death and showing us uh, all about new life, new hope, new beginnings. And as Christian followers, men, women, and young people, following the story of Jesus and the life of Jesus, we celebrate that great story at Easter time. So I'm just finishing off these decorations. I'm putting on uh, the last of our palm crosses. Uh, you'll remember, perhaps, one of the assemblies I did when I was talking about this palm that came all the way from Jerusalem and was brought to me by my friend Michael. Well, uh, we burnt last year's palms, and I'm going to show you those. And I'll, yeah, I, sh I think I showed you those last time in the assembly, how we burnt last year's palms and marked our heads with a, a cross of ash. And now I'm putting on the, the brand new, fresh palm crosses, palms all the way from the city of Jerusalem and uh, surrounding area. And uh, we're just decorating this area up to help us so that we can see things that remind us of the story of Jesus. So I'll put that one there. And I thought I would use the beautiful Bible that you presented me with when I came here uh, nearly three years ago and started coming into the school and telling stories and uh, you presented me as a school with this Bible, the Jesus Storybook Bible. And uh, in it, I'm going to read from it the story of, part of the story of Jesus coming into the city of Jerusalem. It involves uh, a young man called Nathan and a donkey. A great shout of joy went up from the crowd. Hosanna, Hosanna, God bless our King Jesus, they cried as they saw Jesus entering through the gate of the city, sitting on a donkey. Nathan, one of Jesus' followers, was so excited he picked up a branch from one of the nearby trees and waved it like... A flag. So I'm going to wave this like a flag. Like this. Waved it like a flag. Lots of others ran and got palm branches and did the same. And they shouted, Hooray for Jesus the Lord. Hosanna. More and more people crowded the steep Streets throwing their coats down on the ground for the donkey to walk upon. Winding all the way down the hill and through the lovely city of Jerusalem they went. Cheering, singing, waving and dancing. And the donkey's ears twitched and his head nodded step by step as he carried Jesus the King on his way. It's a great story. There's a, a legend that says that because it was a donkey that carried Jesus into Jerusalem and eventually he was put to death um, at a place where there were these crosses. That's how he died. Uh, a donkey, all donkeys, have a cross on their back to remind us 
that a donkey carries Jesus. Next time you see a donkey, perhaps you can have a look, see if you can see a cross on his back. Maybe you too can remember this story. I'm going to show you now one of the beautiful pictures that are hanging around this church, one of 14. We began uh, with pictures reminding us of parts of the story. We began with a picture called Fear. And I'm going to show you now a picture called Hope. So, this picture, beautiful picture by the artist Jenny Hawke, is called Hope. It's part of our Stations of the Cross, pictures that help us uh, understand and follow the story of Jesus' last days and hours uh, before the celebration of Easter. So, um, this shows a path that leads up to a hill, and there are crosses on the hill, but there's a light breaking over the hill. And it's called hope because it, it shows that although this path leads to Jesus' cruel death, that's not the end of the story. There is a journey to be had after that, a journey for Jesus into new life and the hope of a journey for us into new life. And we all need uh, a message of hope in these days, particularly as all of us have had uh, so much to uh, put up with and uh, all of us have been affected by the pandemic, the COVID uh, illness that's been around. So this is a prayer and if you like the prayer, you can say an Amen at the end. Oh Lord, we ask for strength to follow this story, the journey of Jesus to the cross and to new life. Help us all to have hope. Amen.